So today, all of us are using some forms of devices like Android phones or iPhones or tablets. And in order to access such a device, we type in short codes. And people don't like doing it. Many people avoid it completely, leaving the devices open to theft of data, in a sense. So that raises the question, are there other ways in which you can authenticate yourself without having to remember passwords? And of course, the answer is you will say, yeah, sure, there are such systems, right? There are biometric systems, but there are a number of issues that biometric systems today face. You could fool a face recognition system by putting a photograph of a person next to it. If a biometric is stolen or compromised, then uh, you cannot revoke it, meaning get a new fingerprint or a new iris. So our research is on using features that can be revoked, can be changed where if we perform, for example, a gesture, that gesture allows us to log into a system, but yet if somebody sees what we do and steals our gesture, next time we realize that it was stolen, we can change the gesture and we can basically propose a new, in a sense, password that allows us to log in. In order to capture the gestures that one would perform in front of a door, in front of a computer, in order to be authenticated, we are using uh, Kinect. Kinect is a camera which captures depth, distance from the camera itself to objects in the three-dimensional scene. And we have developed a simple machine learning algorithm that allows us to use specific characteristics of the gestures in order to distinguish individual users. So right now our system works under controlled situations. What we want is a system that is robust under many situations. For example, people could be approaching from different angles, different distances, or it could be in the winter time when they're wearing thick winter jackets. More importantly, people don't always remember exactly the way they did the gestures. And our next step is to refine the algorithm to make it work with more realistic conditions. Clearly, we are in the early stages of the system, but we imagine a future where you, know, you could get out of your home, wave your hand, and lock your doors. Get into the car, wave your hand, and it'll open your doors access a building where you don't really have to really speak anything, say anything, just your gestures would do all the talking. So to get to that point, of course, is a big challenge, but we are really hopeful that many of the things we're doing here in this project would lay the foundations for that future.